One unit of the Missouri Air National Guard recently closed 86 years of history when flying operations ended in St. Louis. Master Sergeant Mary Dill Amoson tells us how the unit completed this transition. The 131st Fighter Wing Missouri Air National Guard celebrated 86 years of flying history and ended flying operations in St. Louis with the final departure of the wing's F-15 Sea Eagles. Today means that we close 86 years of flying off of Lambert Field. But the legacy of the 131st and the 110th Bomb Squadron remains. It goes to Whiteman. There are so many memories here for so many people, as evident by the 2,200 people coming today. Uh, but those are memories, okay? And now we move on down the road, stand up to 131st Bomb Wing, the 110th Bomb Squadron at Whiteman, which is a great mission. We would not be here today without the past members of this unit. And it is, it's a great pleasure and honor to see the men and women that have retired before us come out and and be with us today on this momentous occasion. Today we are merely turning the page in our history book. The 131st and the 110th lives on. What is important as we reflect backwards during these 86 years of our history is the commitment and the dedication to purpose that each and every one of you and each and every one of your family members has given to proudly serve in your state and nation. Today is going to be the final flight of from St. Louis. The uh, two aircraft are going to be going to the Hawaii Air National Guard. So it's momentous because we will have no more aircraft on the ramp. There will be no more F-15s in the uh, Missouri Air National Guard. It's a sad time uh, for us. Great time for uh, Missouri, um, for Hawaii, because they're getting the best of the best when they get our aircraft. Master Sergeant Amoson, reporting for First Air Force Now.